Hi everyone, this was going to be a three part series on climate change, but I actually want to turn it into a four part series. And the reason why is I want to address a group of people, and that's the group of people that came to my first video, link is up there on climate change, and the second one to some extent, and left the nasty comments on there, such as you don't know what you're talking about, you're an arsehole, you're a bigot, what really is happening is the sun is in a solar low, and the climate change deniers. I want to address these people. Let's say I'm wrong. Let's have a little thought experiment here and just say I'm wrong. All of the countries in the world, which is pretty much every country apart from America, are wrong. And climate change is not driven by man and fossil fuels and their reliance on fossil fuels. And let's say we move over to green energy and it doesn't make any difference to the heating of the planet at all or the planet wasn't heating up at all all along and these thousands of scientists that have spent decades studying centuries of data are all wrong and we've moved over to green energy for no reason whatsoever what would the world look like just think about it for a second a minute so we move over to the renewable forms of energy would we have cleaner air to breathe and by I say we when I say we I mean your children and grandchildren and generations to come and mankind as a whole would they have cleaner air to breathe I think the answer would be yes to that don't you think would the future generations of the planet have cleaner water to drink it's a fair question. Would our rivers and oceans be free of the toxic waste, which is just killing off wildlife and destroying indigenous communities, such as Standing Rock, because of the pipelines we've got to build through their homes? We haven't got to. We choose to. Or governments do, anyway. Would, would there be a better chance of wildlife returning and flourishing? because there's not the toxic waste from fossil fuels that are choking them into annihilation? What would the oceans look like? Would we stop adding to the 8 million metric tons of plastic that we've dumped in the ocean that's killing off fish and dolphins and tuna and whales and sharks and turtles? Would we be free of adding to that and actually be in a position where we could clean our mess up? These are fair questions. And the last important question really I want to ask, and it's the, the most important question, especially if you've watched any of my other videos, would there be a greater chance of peace in the Middle East without the interference of Western countries? who wage endless war over there in an effort to control the oil if we relied on fossil fuel uh, relied on green energy instead of fossil fuels i think these are all fair questions and i think these are fair questions that you haven't asked yourself because there is no downside here no downside i've had asked these questions of people before and they can't come back with any answers. I remember one guy said, oh, well, if we move over to wind power, it'll kill the birds. Really? It'll kill some birds? Well, what I said to him was, it'll kill them quickly. It won't kill as many. And it won't kill them like this. And what would be left? What would, what would we, we be left with as sources of energy? Just think about it. What would we be left with? Wouldn't, be, wouldn't we be left with clean, green, cheap energy, renewable energy that won't run out for approximately another 4.5 billion years when the sun eventually dies, which will be long after we've gone, instead of maybe 200? You see, fossil fuels are a finite source. Eventually, we're going to run out of them. The current estimates are we've got, we know of about enough oil to last us another 55 years. And I've worked in the fossil fuel industry. I actually worked from uh, when I left school for about a decade or 12 years. 
Um, and I know that we find sources of oil all the time as technology grows and we can deal, drill, drill deeper into the ground and um, deeper in the ocean. So I know that those 55 years are probably going to become 75 or 100 or 125 years. But eventually, we are going to run out. What then? What's your plan for the future generations of mankind? What is your plan? Are you just hoping that some bright genius is going to come along and harness the energy of dark matter and we can create energy ourselves without having to rely on fossil fuels? If so, why don't we just do it now? Especially when you think there's no downside to it. What's the downsides of moving to green energy long term? These are fair questions, I think. And I honestly think that these are questions that you haven't asked yourself. You see, if climate change is not driven by fossil fuels, if all the experts and people like me who have looked, I'm not an expert, but I have looked, I've done my own research, I've done my own calculations, I have, as I explained in part one of this series, I have poured over mathematical equations for weeks thinking they were wrong and they turned out to be right. I was so shocked at how bad things were. If all these people who have done that are wrong, what damage will the continuing burning of these fossil fuels do to the environment? Put the climate change thing aside, but what damage will it do to the environment? What damage will it do to the future of mankind if we continue to rely on them for another 100, 200 years. I don't think you've asked yourself these questions because if you had, you wouldn't be leaving nasty comments on my videos saying I'm an idiot and it's because the sun is in a solar low or something like that. You wouldn't be relying on just some website that a guy put up who doesn't believe it rather than the millions of people who have done or the hundreds of thousands of scientists and experts that have done the research. You wouldn't be doing that at all. You would be just saying, you know what, I don't think it's true, but you carry on. It's going to be better for my kids and my grandchildren. Or is it that you just don't care and you want to see the world burn? Because your stance on this is wrong. It's bigoted and you're a fool. And I really hope, I really hope, like me, you change your mind and you actually do some research and ask yourself these questions. Hopefully I won't get too much hate off you or hate off people for making this video. I was in your shoes once. I didn't believe in climate change either until I did my own research on my own calculations. And what I found frightened me. And that was a decade ago. I've only got more scared since. Please, spend some time. Just think about the questions I've asked. And please refrain from just calling me names, I'm only going to block you. Thanks very, very much for watching. Please subscribe, please hit the bell. If you can, please support me on Patreon. I can't do this without your support. I'm not taking any money in advertisement from YouTube. Probably won't for another couple of months until they get round to reviewing the channel. So at the moment, I'm relying on you. Um, thanks very much for your time. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time. Peace and take care.